Welcome to Favorite Tip Friday. This is a series where I reach out to contributors from all over the author community and get their top tips on the subject of the week. This week's subject is unique marketing ideas. So let's get to the contributors. Unique book marketing ideas. There are probably more book marketing ideas than you can really shake a stick at. And knowing whether it's effective for one person's brand over another brand remains to be seen because what could work for me may not work for you. But to me, I think to probably stand out above the noise, to be heard uh, 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 amongst the crowd, video. Video is probably the most unique book marketing idea you can do right now, and especially for accessible it is. You think about the accessibility of self-publishing in general and how easy it is to publish through places like Kindle Direct Publishing, Lulu, Ingram Spark, and so much more. The same thing could be said about video publishing through platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and so many other platforms. A lot of authors are a little shy. They don't want to break out of their comfort bubble. And I think they're afraid to get in front of the camera, but you'll find that when your readers can kind of see the whites of your eyes, they're going to be trusting you a bit more. And I don't think there are too many authors out there that are taking advantage of how successful video marketing is and getting yourself in front of people and being more visible and building the hype train for your upcoming release. So when it comes to unique book, book marketing ideas, consider video publishing in some capacity. Uh, find a platform. YouTube's definitely one of the best ones. It's treated me well. And I think that that is going to be the thing that makes you unique from all the others. Hey guys, it's MK Williams here from Author Your Ambition. I'm so excited to share with you today some of my very unique book marketing tips and what I've actually done to help promote my books. So I'm gonna go over two examples today. So the first is from my very first book, Nail Biters. Um, so this was my debut book back in 2015, back when I knew nothing about book marketing. Um, and as you can see, it has this beautiful cover that was done and it shows the main character biting her nails. So at the time I had reconnected with an old classmate from college. Um, we took a few like political science electives together, the ones that, like everybody has to take. Um, and so we were just connected on Facebook. We weren't that close, but she had done this amazing um, set of nail art on her Instagram channel, which like is a thing, like people doing very intricate nail polish designs. Um, and they were beautiful. And I just thought they were great. So I'd always just like comment like, oh, this looks so great. This looks so cool. Like, how did you do that? And then after the book came out, you know, sales were slow. I was a brand new author. I didn't have an audience. And I was just like, well, like there's somebody biting their nails on the cover. Like, let me just ask, like if she would do something to help me promote the book, like nail biters, nail polish, there has to be some kind of, you know, connection there. And so when I reached out, she said, oh my gosh, I love science fiction. That book sounds awesome. I need to read it. And I said, well, I'll send you a you know free digital copy of the book in exchange for you doing this nail art. And so she actually did amazing designs for it. She did three different designs. One was to look like the cover on her nails. Um, one was a scene from the book with like cities on fire. And the third one was this, um, it looked like, you know, like bloody, gory nails, which like I thought was cool because that's the kind of science fiction book that it is. Um, and so it was really awesome that she got that out there, knowing that her channel, not everybody who follows nail art is necessarily like into reading or even science fiction, um, but most people who I thought would like this book would be female because there's a strong female protagonist. Um, so I was really excited to see that. And it created just some really unique content and just a different way to get the book out beyond um, my network. And I actually got a few sales from it. So that was pretty fun. Um, um, and I always just reminisce on that. Just like I was still out of my comfort zone. I was just like, do you want to do your nails about my book? Um, so that was a really fun, unique way. And again, it's just thinking outside the box beyond the standard, like post on Goodreads, post on social media, do Amazon ads. Like it's something different. But that was way back in 2015. So in 2019, my newest sci-fi series started with The Infinite Infinite, which I love the cover. It's so pretty. Um, and it's definitely a different kind of science fiction book. Hence, it's more of the like star pattern versus, you know, the very menacing, scary with nail biting. Um, and as everybody in 2020 was going into lockdown, um, my husband and I realized that we needed face masks beyond just like the paper ones that are disposable. And so our friend of ours was creating masks where you buy from her and then she would donate one to an essential worker. So we were like, oh, we're definitely going to support that. And she had different patterns on there. And then I saw this pattern. 
That's right. So of course I ordered it. It's so pretty purple. Like I love the cover of my book because of the pattern. And then it's just become a really fun conversation piece. So the few times I've been out and about in the world during 2020, most of it was when I went to my doctor's office um, because I was pregnant during 2020. For those who follow my channel, you know that. Um, And so the different doctors and nurses would be like, oh my gosh, I love your mask. It's so pretty. And I would always say, thank you so much. It actually matches the cover of my latest book. And that would just spur a really fun conversation about, you know, me being an author, what's the book about? And several of them said, oh my gosh, that sounds like an awesome book. I want to read it. So it was just a fun way to connect with people and start that conversation about the book versus just like, oh yeah, thanks. Cool math. Like whatever. Um, or just like something that's boring. So it's just fun. I'm really glad that it matches. Um, and I don't know if I'll have to get new ones for the sequels when they come out, but you never know, maybe I will, even though we may not have to be wearing masks forever, but, um, it's just really fun and cool way to promote the book. And those are my unique marketing tips. Um, so best of luck as you market your book. Hey everybody, this is Rob of Archangel Inc. Uh, One good, unique book marketing idea that you might consider is creating video content around your material. Uh, This works especially well if you are producing nonfiction books. You can take the opportunity to uh, create videos, break down your book chapter by chapter or section by section, provide a little bit of a summary, an overview, uh, riff on some different ideas, potentially turn them into seminars, create uh, live streams of them over them if you have an existing uh, video audience. Um, from there, you can also turn that material, uh, if it is appropriate, into podcast, uh, a podcast or an audio version. Um, you can also transcribe it and turn it into uh, a blog post. Um, by doing this, one, it gets awareness out there for your information, uh, provides some content across multiple different platforms, and allows people who are interested potentially in your work, but who have a preferred medium, whether that's uh, print, uh, as in words on the screen, or audio, or audio video, to follow along with you. So um, it may also be a good opportunity for you to generate additional clients, depending on the topic of your book. If you are uh, writing in, a non- in the nonfiction genre, you may be able to connect with people and show that you have the experience and expertise that they're looking for if they're looking for the sort of help that you provide. So I hope that helps and good luck with your book marketing. When it comes to unique marketing ideas, when it comes to books, one of the most unique ideas I've come up with is I'm actually creating card game based on one of my books. So whether you find me for, through my book or you find me through my game, either way, that's a great way to sell more books. Hi guys, SL Michaels here. So with the topic today, I'm here to talk about marketing ideas. So I have a marketing idea for my book that I'm going to be using. It is a little, it's different and it's a for my book coming out very soon called The Synesthete. And I write fiction and I write romance. And what I am planning on doing for my mar- for one tool of my marketing is I am going to use cooking. I love cooking. It's one of my other things I like to do other than writing. And with cooking in my book, my characters, they cook in fiction. For me, I feel like eating and cooking, it may, brings out a more realistic, you can relate more to these characters. I've always loved reading books about uh, people who cook in these recipes and what they eat, and I've always wanted to eat what they're eating if I really like the book and I love these characters. So what I'm planning on doing is I have written in the book a lot of cooking scenes because it's, it is romantic. You know, you have like your, your candlelight dinners and, you know, you have your you know, your female protagonist and your male protagonist and they're in the kitchen and they're cooking or he can cook for her or she cooks for him or whatever. And I have in there certain recipes myself and I'm going to make YouTube videos on how you can make the dish that is made in the book. And what, how, and you might be saying, well, how are you marketing that? Well, when I make the video for it, guys, I'm not giving you the recipe. I'm not giving you exact measurements. I'll show you what I add but you're not gonna get exact um, measurements for it. And so this goes uh, two ways. It can also go with, hey, this is in the book, you know, go buy the book, and if you want this recipe, then uh, come sign up for my newsletter on my website. So that's my idea, one of my ideas for having something different in marketing, and I hope that you guys uh, can uh, use it if you if you want to. So thank you guys so much. Thanks, Keith, so much for asking me to be on the video. Bye. 
Hey there, I'm Julia the Book Broad with Book Launchers. Here's a unique book marketing idea for you. Look at companies, products, and people you talk about in your book and flag the page where you've talked about them and send them a copy of your book. Who knows, you might create some very cool partnership opportunities for you and your book. I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my contributors this week. And make sure that you check out the links down in the description below to get links to all of their channels. And if you like this, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and smash your bell icon so you get alerted every time we do more videos, just like this one. But now, check out that video right there that YouTube says is perfect for you. I'll catch you in that video, and remember to write right.